Hey guys, this is Fat Loots from Fat Loots Gold Blog, and welcome to part three of my Learn Trade Skill Master three tutorials, where we're going to be going over crafting. So crafting allows you to craft items that are profitable. I mean, that's pretty cool. But it also you can set up rules for a big bulk of items, such as my enchanting example I've been using throughout this series, and craft the profitable ones. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go use my favorite way of adding an operation by going to the group wad and chance that I want to add the operation to. So I want to add it to this one. The operation I want to add is a crafting. So I override. There's no operations to select. I create a new operation. My operation name is going to be whatever I want. Enchanting, crafting, crafting, what? How about wad enchants? Or if you want, you could name this craft two. Uh, if you know, if profit is greater than fifty gold or whatever, however you set it up. Would you like to add this? Yes. So I added it to my group, and already we have lots of things. So general restock. So this is how many you want. You have a min and a max. I want at least one. And I want a max of three. So the max is really what it will restock to at all times. So say I want five of each enchant. Or maybe I want ten. I'm going to type it in because that slider's not easy to use. Ten. Min restock. So this is saying if I have nine, my min restock is one. So I will um, restock it when I do my crafting kind of search. Um, I don't want to restock only one. If I only have to craft one, that means I have nine. So maybe I want to only restock when I'm making four enchants or more. Maybe two. Whatever you want. Does that make sense? You get it? You got it? Very good. Um, set minimum profit. Minimum profit, 100 gold. Um, you could use price sources in this, just like before. Um, my minimum profit, maybe I want it to be 10% of the DB market. Maybe I want it to be uh, uh, one of the other price sources we like is crafting, 10% crafting. So that's the crafting price. So I want to at least make 10% more than I paid to craft it. it makes sense, right? Um, I'm going to set it to 20% crafting. Get some nice markups because the auction house does take 5%. Keep that in mind. I believe actually this calculation might take that into uh, account. So anyway, there we go. Price settings. You could override the default craft value method, which is first DB min buyout DB market. I'm going to leave that. Or is it that? Let's see. What's the default? It doesn't say. We have to go to options, crafting, and here's the default craft value method. Yep, that's the default. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Thank God we spent that time looking at that. Alright, so going back to my operations tab, crafting tab, wad and chance, what we're working on. So I'm not going to override that. That's great. I could change that if I want. You can. Relationships, we're not going to go over that. Kind of complex and annoying. Just like relationships in real life. Anyway, so that's basically that. So all I have to do now is open my enchanting window. Enchanting, open the right window, go to TSM groups, and you'll notice that there's my enchants. Those are my subgroups that I made. It's so beautiful. Hit restock selected groups, and then hit show queue. It usually pops open, but. So here's all the enchants that I have to make based on my 20% crafting threshold. It tells you the estimated cost, which is 27,000, my estimated profit, which is 13.6,000. That's cool. Um, and yeah, so you'll notice it'll tell you all these green items are items I already have. I have enough of them in my bags or my bank. It counts your bank because you can craft out of your bank now. Um, but these items, Temporal Crystal, I don't have a lot of those. Um, and Sorceress, Water and Fire, I do not have enough of. Now the Water and Fire are yellow. It means I have them on my alts and I can go get them. But my temporal crystals are red, which means I do not have enough on my alts, and I will probably have to buy them from the auction house. 
So how do I do that? Reopen your enchanting tab that you shouldn't have closed. Or other professions. This works for other professions, guys. Hit the gather button. And close this window. Now you have TSM gathering is open. Now, I've been told, this is going to be developed over time. Um, by the time it gets released, this is Trade School Master 3 beta. By the time it gets released, it's going to be a little smarter. But what you can do, so here's your available sources. These are the three items I need. Sorcerer's Fire, Sorcerer's Water, and Temporal Crystals. And these are the sources. This is what I can get. This is what it's telling me to do. So for example, I know some of my alts have 18 of them, 88 of them. That's great. So I need 88 Sorcerer's Water. I could just get it from my alt. My other alts have 18 Sorcerer's Fire. I could get it from them and, and I could be done. Or I could right click all of these options and right click buy from auction house. And when I go to the auction house, I could just buy that item. And I'm going to do that for Sorcerer's Water as well. In fact, I'm going to do that for Temporal Crystals. Um, otherwise, when I go on these alts, this window will still be open and I can go to... It'll either tell me to go to the bank and pick them up, or it will just tell me to go to the mailbox and click this button, which will say mail items or something like that, and it'll mail it to this character that I am gathering for. Cool, cool. Um, you can also change your crafter. So say I want to make these items on my other enchanting alt, or I want to change the professions. You can't do that right now because you have to do it from the actual profession window such as tailoring oh god that window is ugly hide it so I could you know create a new queue here gather from there anyway so here we go I can just do that enable just buy from auction house by right clicking oops and buy from auction house so that's what I'm gonna do in this video you can try out the rest I'm going to move this window down here. I'm going to resize it a bit, make it a little smaller, since I'm not actually buying for my alts. I'm going to go to the auction no, house and click Buy Items. Oh, it tells me I'm in the wrong tab. Switch to the Shopping tab. Okay. Hit Buy Items, Temporal Crystal, 265, and it's going to give you this percent mat price. Now, this is the price that... Oh, boy. What a crappy time to do a video. So this is the percent mat price that... TSM thinks you should purchase that to make that 16,000 gold profit. Obviously, things are a little bit high priced right now. It's the weekend. These things happen. So actually, I'm probably not going to craft much, if anything. But it allows you to collect these items. Now, once I'm done, once I buy 265, I can hit this button again. If I hit it again now, it's going to keep searching for a temporal crystal. I'm going to hit stop up here to stop the search. Now, if I want to just force it to buy a specific thing, I could click this side, the selected sources, and click Sorcerer's Water, for example, and it'll just pull the Sorcerer's Water. Uh, that's cheap enough, so I'm going to buy that. So I'll buy my Sorcerer's Water in advance, because I am definitely not... Once I buy 90 of them, I only needed 88. It'll tell me it'll move on to the next item. It did not odd. It'll normally move on to the next item, which is Sorcerer's Fire, or you could just click it. Oh my god, it's so cheap. I should have transmuted these on my Alchemist. Oh well. What are we going to do? Nothing. We're going to do absolutely nothing. I'm going to buy some extra of these, but I can't. I can't. Anyway, next item would be Temporal Crystal, and we don't have enough of those. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not doing that. But anyway, we go to the uh, mailbox, we retrieve our mail, as it says, vi from Hoard the Ford, visit mailbox, and I'm doing that. And bingo, it's amazing. Things are going great. Um, so all I need are these temporal crystals. I'm not going to get them right now. You can go to do transform, but that's not going to do anything either because the transform for temporal crystal is just by clicking these little guys, fractured temporal crystal, and making them normal temporal crystals. Now I have 32, so I'm going to demonstrate at least how to craft a few items. You can open up enchanting and you'll notice you have your craft queue. Now the default is to sort by profitability. So these are the most profitable enchants up here. You'll notice my per enchant profit is 500 gold on these for some reason. 
Down here, my per enchant profit is 34 gold. So it's organized by absolute profit value, and as you go down through the list, it's less and less and less, and it gets sad. So you can craft two ways by clicking the craft next button or by clicking the individual thing you want to craft. Say I want to skip versatility because I know multi-strike sells better. I could just click the multi-strike and there you go, I crafted one. I crafted another. I crafted some versatility. The other thing you do is click the craft next. It'll click the one at the top of this list for you. You could also create a macro as I do to click this button. Um, hey, let's learn how to do that. Type slash F stack. And uh, so I have the craft next button highlighted right now, and you'll notice under at frame stack medium 130 it says TSM craft next button. That's the name of this button. Uh, I believe capitalization does matter. So if I make a macro that says click TSM craft next button, all capitalized properly, it'll click that button. Ah! Get off a of frame stack slash F stack. Go to the macros slash M. And let me see, where do I have this saved? Craft next, click. So this is what your macro looks like. Click TSM craft next button. How hard is that? It's great. Now I have it right here, bound. I press one. Oh, when I have my enchanting window open and it crafts the next thing. I'm not, look, 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 my clicker's all the way over here and I'm just pressing the button. So you can spam that button now. Great, cool. So. I hope you learned how to craft items using Trade Skill Master and how stupid easy it is. And now you're thinking, I should have been doing this the whole time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest gold making and Trade Skill Master videos. And if you're interested in more in-depth gold making discussion, be sure to check out the consortium forums which are linked below. Till next time guys, cheers.